Hey guys, Amy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a Lamborghini. So a Lamborghini car. You know, something that I obviously own. <laughs> obviously not. So it's going to be a really cool Lamborghini. So we're going to, I find cars a little bit tricky. I'll show you what I did when I was, this is like maybe 20 years ago. Love. I used to go to the racetracks and I used to paint classic cars and I used to paint motorbikes and I used to sell them. So this is a sketch that I did of someone on a racing motorbike. All the, most of the originals, these are photocopies, most of the originals have been given to people. This is another car. They used to take me probably an hour. Depends what car it was and everything. You can see that. This one was kind of cool. Really enjoyed doing that one. And this one was quite fun. So I'm showing you them because I find cars a little bit tricky, but once you get going, it's really easy. It's just super easy to draw. So what I want you to do is you've got the landscape piece of paper and you need a pencil because we're going to rub out. So first of all, I'm going to just draw like a cross in the page. It's going to be a wonky cross. So it's like a diagonal across. I'm going to do it quite chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. This is going to help me. Sorry, I'm just going to take my socks off because it's so warm in here. It's boiling today. Also because I've got my warm jumper on. So once we've got the cross that we need, I'm going to go round the cross. So what we're going to do is this is now going to become a wheel. So we're going to draw, go around it maybe more than once. So I'm going to draw a wheel. Can you see, have a look at where the cross goes in that oval, because that will give you an idea because you have a tiny little piece there, bigger piece there, bigger piece there and a massive piece there. So just have a look at that. And then what I want to do is once I've done that oval, I'm going to scoot down, just da 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 da, and then I'm going to draw the other wheel. The other wheel. Have a look, if you can, <laughs> have a look that where I've put that, because that's smaller and that's huge. And it's going to be, we're going to join them up in a moment, so you're going to have quite a few lines dotted around, but I'm going to rub the uh, cross out at the end. So just give it a go, so you've got one, two those are your two wheels now right on the top just here just do a line so have a look on your page like mine is almost like my hand but yours if it's a smaller drawing might not be the hand but we're just going to join up some things so i'm going to do a dot there and where you've got that wheel i'm going to go up just up a little bit can you see that so once I've gone up, I'm going to then do this. I'm going to I'm going to do it chunky just so you can see. I'm going to go up, up, up and then start curving and join it up there. So this is the back of my car. I might draw this super chunky for you, all of it, just so you can see. Super chunky. Everything sounds yummy at the moment. <laughs> super chunky. Like a nice curly whirly bar. So what we're going to do is just when you get to about there, so you know where that cross is, we're going to draw, go down a little bit, so about there, and we're going to join it up. So I'm joining up. Can you see it's almost made a triangle? This is obviously quite tricky to do, but it doesn't matter. If you keep practicing, like me, <laughs> you get better as you go along. So then what I want to do is this is going to now become the body of the car. This isn't too tricky to do. We're just going to make these wheels a little bit 3D. So just join up just like that. You don't need to draw the whole thing, just a little bit. And then with this wheel, just go up a little bit like that. Just at the bottom. Can you see? Then I want to do the windows. Now this is kind of easy. You see that cross? We're going to go going to touch the top of the cross and we're just going to start to go down like a triangle like a triangle then 
just exactly the same line. So all we're doing is we're copying that line, but underneath, then we're going to do a window. So give it, give it a go. Don't worry if it goes a bit strange. <laughs> you know, it's all about practicing. So that is my window and I'm going to have one, two. So obviously this is quite a basic one. I don't want to make it too complicated. Otherwise I'll be here till Christmas depending on if you're watching it at Christmas. Uh, then you're gonna do this, you're gonna do a line, because they're all about the lines, all about the lines. Then you're gonna go down as a diagonal, straight, diagonal again, and then across. Can you see I've done it parallel to this? I'll do that again, because that's a little bit tricky. So you've got this line that's just under the window. Then, coming from here, you go blob, and then straight down, and then blob again, and then a line there. Now, this is going to be almost like it's um, shadow in there, so just do that for now. And we don't want to worry about too much of anything else, because it gets quite complicated here. It gets complicated. So let's go. Right, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the wheel and over. So you're literally just going up like that. Then you're going to touch there. So pause the video if that was a bit difficult. We're going to rub some of it out. So I've gone up and around. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Keep note of where that line is because we're going to go... A line like that that's gonna go up so it's gonna go past my line and as I say if this is difficult just take your time don't panic then just near it but underneath can you see I haven't done it straight there just join up to about there so just use your eyes to how long or how chunky you want it to be now what we're gonna do is this is gonna be like some kind of I think it's a, some kind of light in there. So we're gonna do a line like that. So it's almost like a back to front L, isn't it? And then above this little bit here, I'm trying to see what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to see what it is, guys. Where did I put? Okay, let's see what it is. Since I don't own a Lamborghini, it's quite tricky to know what it is. It's right, gonna go a line, it's a line, it's a line, guys. <laughs> guys. And a line there, and it goes. Yeah, that's it. It's a line there as well. So, what I've done is that was an L shape. Then, line at the end that's parallel, so it's the same. Then you've got a line there and a line there. Just give it a go, honestly. If you haven't got that many lines, it's probably for the best because there's a lot of lines there, isn't there? Because I've done this line, it's going to make it a bit confusing for me. That's why I suddenly thought, oh, what am I doing? Okay, from here, you're going to go this way. Can you see that? Then go up. Yeah, we're nearly there. Don't panic. We're nearly there. <laughs> then you're going to do this. It has to be a bit rounded. So it's a little bit rounded. It's the bonnet got that one right <laughs> then line going down line and then you're joining it to this so it's kind of like a bumpy line almost and then this line now comes down to here so it's just continuing that line and we nearly finished the top of the car so all you're gonna do is touch here and you're gonna start to curve this goes off this roof because you can't see most, most of it okay so that's your window and to make it look like a window do that if you like because in my GCSE and A level work I used to try and figure out how to make it look like glass and they showed us how to do that now we want it to look more like a Lamborghini the front so we're gonna do this we're gonna just do a line and then another line and then we want to go, ah. and then here, there's a little bumpy line, and then another line, 
Now, what I might do is I'm gonna rub out their guideline because I am gonna get too confused otherwise. So, whilst I'm doing that, if you do that as well, just rub, oh man. It just dripped on me, which was not good. So I'm gonna take my time rubbing out all this guideline. You would have done this quite lightly, and if not, once you paint it, you won't see it. I mean, I've done a pretty long line, haven't I? It might take me a while to... Uh, it's all the little bits that count. You know, those are the bits that make it look like a car and not an elephant, which is always good, isn't it? Just looking at my... Right, we need the front to look more like a Lamborghini. So take your time rubbing this bit out. Right, so, now, let's have a look. I am waiting for that to dry. What will be really nice whilst I wait for that to dry is I'm gonna put a line there, and then I'm gonna put a line there. I'm trying to make it look 3D without ruining my felt tip because I'm touching the tip hex. So you kind of want like a C shape. So we're gonna, we're gonna color that in at some point. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, oh, it's quite tricky. It's quite tricky because <laughs> my tip X isn't dry, which you won't be using because it ruins your pens. Ah, oh, it's the only way I can show you that. I'm doing the wheels. You could do any design of wheels if you like, but I quite like these because when we colour them in, they'll look really cool. Okay, right, let's have a little look now. We're gonna do a little line there because it's like a little light. And then we're gonna do this. Right, can you see that wheel bit there? I'm gonna connect this to this and I'm gonna rub out this bit. Da, da, da. So it looks like the wheel is going underneath. So if you didn't see that, just pause it and do it and go back because you've got to do that bit because if you don't do that bit, it won't look so much like a car. And then it's dry. I want to just touch there and go up. This is going to make it look like the bonnet's sort of in a certain angle. And then I think I made it harder for myself because I put that line, didn't I? To help you, and that's confused me now. <laughs> right, and then line there. It's rather warm, isn't it? Line down. And we're gonna do a little line in there. Then Try and make that rounded if you can, because if it's not rounded, it doesn't really look like it, does it? And then we're gonna do a really cool, kind of, try and make it overlap. And then there's a, these are like the, the lights. They remind me of eyes, I think. Right, let's have a little look. So we've got that, and that goes there. 
Oof. Yeah, I think I'd have to fiddle with it a little bit more. Because it's roughly what I want, but that is at an angle. That has to be at an angle. Let's have a look at the picture. I'm kind of happy with that from what I've got. <laughs> because we're trying to keep it quite simple. We can't do it exactly like all the detail because we'll be, honestly, we'll be there for a while. So that is my Lamborghini. It's a certain type of Lamborghini, actually. It's a certain type. So we're going to, I want my Lamborghini to be yellow, just because, you know, why not? So I'm gonna get, and the good thing about yellow is no matter what you cover, you can still see the lines. So I'm gonna just, Get yellow acrylic paint. You could do yellow anything, to be honest. You could do yellow felt tip, yellow crayon. The reason why I'm painting it is because once it's dry, I can do all the shading. It'll look so good. Might leave this bit. Oh. Don't need the lights, although they're probably yellowy colour, aren't they? Okay, so that that wasn't too tricky, was it, to paint? <laughs> I think that's the easiest part, isn't it? So I've done. I've painted a car for twenty years, so this might be. But I don't know. I like the fact that it's a challenge. So if yours looks a bit strange, like a banana, don't worry. Just continue practicing. If you were to draw this five times on the fifth attempt you'd probably get it exactly how you want it so I'm gonna let that dry then I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some what should I get I want to get some chalk which I've got here and I didn't realize right so I am gonna get a blue chalk pastel so it can be any any blue I might actually put a piece of paper there just because I don't want it to get messy. Right, what I'm going to do is to make it look like a window, I'm just going to go around the outline of the window. <laughs> and I'm going to smudge. So I'm going to blend it because then it looks quite transparent. It looks quite cool. You don't need to do it with blue. It didn't work when I did that paper. You don't need to do it with blue. You could do it with a green maybe. Or a bluey grey. And we're going to just smudge again. Now I've done tip X there so there's going to be a bit of a gaffy bit. It doesn't matter. Okay so that's the windows of my car. Then I'm going to get, I think I like the idea of the lights being an orange. You could paint all of this, you don't need to do it with chalk but I like the idea of outlining it in a black sharpie as well if you can or just a black pen anything black just to help <laughs> make it stand out it's getting really messy now now what i want to do is i want to color the wheels in so first i'm going to color this bit black so just follow the bits that i'm coloring black i quite like the idea of outlining it but i don't really need to outline for mine i'm going to do a little bit of shade in there be better if I didn't have the tip X, <laughs> as we all know. I've said it several times. Mm, I like doing it underneath as well, that's quite cool. Whenever you draw something like you want, you want some shade in, just blend it, just sort of like pull it over and smudge it, it's quite nice. Right, in between the wheels, I'm going to do black they're really cool wheels. And bear in mind that I've done that Tipex thing, so mine's gonna look a bit odd. Yours is gonna look amazing. Reminds me of, reminds me of a, a sweet actually. Okay, those are quite cool wheels. Now, you can just smudge. Basically, if the car's, oh my word, it's getting messy now. I like to put shadow, you know, because it makes it look 3D. So you can put it just here and there. What I love doing, 
is I love, I mean the windows could be a bit black around the edges as well to be honest. Just on a roll now, aren't I? <laughs> Just la la la. Right, anyway, let's let's try and stop at some point. <laughs> Because I'm just thinking, oh. right, what, I'm, what I might do is I like doing the shadow underneath. So what I would do is just colour it black, just like a line like that. Just bear in mind that beautiful two pixel steak I made. Right, and then just smudge out. I think it does look nice if you've got black lines. So if you can outline it before you colour it in, it might look really cool. Right, there we go. There's my uh, yellow, it's a bikini. <laughs> There's my yellow Lamborghini. Now, sometimes people like to make it look shiny. So you could get white acrylic paint and you could just put some white here and there just to give it almost like a shine. Now obviously I'm using my Tipex, but Tipex is not ideal because it doesn't come out of anything. <laughs> but you can do it with um, white paint for sure. And then you could do a really cool background. You could do it racing in maybe Monaco, that's where I used to go, to uh, sketch some of the cars as well. All the racetracks around the world I used to go, it was so much fun. So yeah, have fun doing your Lamborghini and let me know how you get on and I shall see you soon.